let's have a look at how quick sort works quick sort is faster than bubble sort uh, but only really if you get very small lists when you sort of divide it into two we'll see how that works first stage is to take the smallest the, to take the central number the central number in this case is two not the median but the one in the middle of the list as it is now two is a bad choice and you'll know we practice so that's just unlucky for us now I'll go through the list anything bigger than two just put it on the right anything smaller than two put it on the left now I've put one all the way over here with a big gap because there might be some more and I need to need to have space to put them in I know really that there aren't going to be any more so I can glance through the list and see that two is the second smallest anyway so there we end up with our list it's not sorted but two is definitely in the right place two is called the pivot now we've got two smaller lists this one is so small it's just a list of one if you get a list of one it must already be sorted so one is now definitely sorted the other list is this side choose the number in the middle unfortunate because nine is as we can see the biggest but we don't know that or the computer doesn't know that as, it, as it's working through these I'm going to place nine all the way over here because all the way over on this side because I know there's no numbers going on the right of it and I won't have room to fit them in if I put nine just here anyway smaller 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 and smaller so just in the order that they were no thinking to be done there no arranging them craftily nine is definitely in the right place the next pivot is the eight now here that's because we've got two numbers in the middle seven and eight always choose the second again eight's not a very good choice because we know that all the numbers left are going to be smaller than it put it all the way over to this side because we know that they're all going to fit on this side to make room for them now notice I'm not, notice I'm not going past two here I'm sort of imagining a line down here where two is imagining this line here I don't really want to go to the left of that because otherwise they'll sort of appear in the wrong order eight's definitely in the right place now that was the pivot that we just used the next pivot is going to be the seven again a really unfortunate choice so the seven is the next pivot three is smaller than seven five is smaller than seven four is smaller than seven six is smaller than seven so seven is definitely now in the right place so that's not working very fast the next pivot is the four two numbers in the middle choose the one the second of the two so four three is smaller than four five is bigger than four let's move it along to make space if you're writing this down you'd sort of write it in a place so you knew there was space for it to fit six goes there four is definitely in the right place so four being the pivot is now in the right place now we've got two smaller lists three is first three is a list of just one number so it must be in the right place there's no sorting to be done on one number and the others there's two numbers choose the pivot that's the second of the two five is smaller than six so goes there six being the pivot is now in the right place and we're left with a list of just one number left that's the five and because there's one number left it must be in the right place now all of that didn't actually work very fast so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rerun all of this but this time I'll sort of make sure that there's a better number in the middle so I'll sort of cheat in a way uh, and pretend that it wasn't a two in the middle which made things a bit bad so in this second time round I'm going to cheat and put a five in the middle so let's pretend that we're ordering these numbers shuffle the others about a bit I'm not thinking about where these go so let's say that the question we should put these numbers in order five is the pivot three is smaller than five two is smaller than five eight is bigger than five one is smaller than five nine is bigger and so on five is now definitely in the right place but there are now two slightly smaller than half the original list size lists to deal with one is the pivot here three is bigger than one two is bigger than one four is bigger than one one is now definitely in the right place two is the next pivot again not the best piece of luck for us because it's three and four are both smaller at uh, bigger two is now in the right place four is the next pivot because it's the second of the two numbers three is smaller than four four is now in the right place and because we've got a list now of just one number that's the three it must be in the right place so around the three a box on the other side we're going to take the seven as the pivot so seven is the pivot on this side eight is bigger than seven nine is bigger than seven and six is smaller than seven so seven's in the right place now 
Now notice what I'm doing here, I'm not going, when I write these down, I'm keeping to the right of the five, because I want to be able to read across. When I'm finished, I want the, them to read from left to right, even though their up and down isn't right. Six is just a, a list of one, so that's the eight in the right order. On the other side, nine is the pivot. Eight is smaller than nine, so there, nine is now in the right place. And now I've got just one list of one, and that's the 8, and that goes there, and has a box put around it. We'll see in a clip later on how to write this, but that's basically how quicksort works.